Hi, I'm Steve Green. Here are 201 ultralight backpacking tips to help you lighten up and have more fun. Some tips are big, some are small. Remember that small things add up. Have fun being a fanatic. Think of these tips as a buffet and take what you like. There's a lot to cover, so let's get started. By a small digital scale, you'll be surprised at the weight of some of your gear. Remove any excess weight from your body. It's the best weight reduction to make. It needs to be mentioned at least once. If you don't need it, leave it home. Avoid last minute packing. Don't hurry and take things you don't need. If you're backpacking with a companion, share the weight of some of your gear. Increase your sewing skills. You can make some great and expensive ultralight gear. Get a light backpack that's one to two pounds. It's one of the best places to lighten up. Don't buy a pack with too much capacity. You'll be tempted to fill it up. Try using your pack without the hip belt. You might like it better. Remove your pack's sternum strap if you don't use it. Remove manufacturer tags. Remove tags from all your gear including clothing. Save the care instructions. Trim the waist belt and straps. Leave them long enough for your bulkiest clothing. If the pack has stays or some other reinforcing material, try the pack without it. If your pack has large buckles or cord locks, replace them with lighter ones. Don't worry about the light materials in new gear. They're stronger than you think and can be easily repaired. If you need a pack cover, use one that's made from silicone coated nylon, or use a lightweight garbage bag, or spray your pack with a waterproof coating. Ultralight compression sacks can reduce volume, which might lead to a smaller pack. Buy a sleeping bag that isn't overkill. Many hikers sleep too hot 95% of the time. Use a down bag. It's the most efficient. You'll get skilled at keeping it nice and dry. Keep your towel handy to wipe tent condensation. That helps keep your bag dry. A piece of light painter's tarp or a trash bag can keep condensation off your bag. You can put your rain jacket over the foot of your bag to keep moisture away. With a lightweight bag, you can always add layers of clothing for extra warmth. You can also use a 4-ounce silk liner that adds warmth. An ultralight stuff sack made of 1.3-ounce silicone-coated nylon can be only 6 tenths of an ounce. Keep your sleeping bag clean. That keeps the efficiency high. Keep your bag in a large storage sack to retain full loft and efficiency. Air out your bag during lunch and as soon as you get to camp so it can fully loft. Eat and drink before going to bed. That helps your body efficiently heat the bag. You can use plastic newspaper or grocery bags to help keep your feet warm. They can also store wet gear. Your stuff sack can help keep one foot warm. An ultralight air mattress can reduce pack weight and volume and increase comfort. A similar air mattress with a little insulation weighs only a few ounces more. Leave any inflatable pad open as much as possible so condensation evaporates. A closed cell foam pad is very light. Cut areas that you don't need to shave ounces. You can go crazy and use bubble wrap for your pad. It'll weigh only about four ounces. Extra clothing can be your pillow. You can put the extra clothing in your sleeping bag stuff sack. Your pack can be your pillow. It saves room in the tent and it's easy to find gear. A small piece of foam with some gear underneath can serve as your pillow. A four tenths of an ounce plastic packing bubble from Office Depot that inflates with a straw can be your pillow. Buy a light tent that's less than three pounds for two or less than two pounds for solo. If you often go with a companion, get a one person tent for those times you go alone. If you use hiking poles, you can save the weight of tent poles on some tents. If you like an older tent with metal or fiberglass poles, switch to carbon fiber poles. If you like an old tent with a fly, sew a new fly with lighter silicone coated nylon. Save weight by using titanium stakes. They are just two tenths of an ounce each. Leave stuff sacks home. A few rubber bands are lighter. In dry regions, you might use a bivy sack or sleeping bag cover as your only shelter. If you need bug protection only, the pop-up bug bivvies weigh only 6.5 ounces. For an even lighter bug solution, a square yard of netting weighs less than one ounce. Simple, lightweight tarps can reduce your shelter weight to less than a pound. With a bivy or tarp, try a mosquito head net for protection. They are only six tenths of an ounce. Some tarps serve a dual purpose as your poncho, too. Tying a cord to trees or sticks can save all the pull weight with some tarps and tents. The lightest ground cloth is the one you don't take. Just set up carefully. Try an ultralight ground cloth like a super thin painter's cloth or Tyvek or sill nylon. Trim your ground cloth just smaller than your tent to avoid pooling rainwater. Hammocks are as light as about two pounds and can set up on uneven ground. If your tent has a fly, you can sometimes set it up with poles and fly only. Increase net free setup options if you repel bugs by spraying permethrin on your tent. Let water drain from your hanging tent, then shake it to reduce weight before hiking. Weather reports can cut weight. If it's clear, leave rain gear home. Take gear in the car and make last minute decisions. Leave as much as possible. When warm, leave rain pants home. 
the legs get wet, but you're not in sweaty pants. Rain chaps can be under 4 ounces. They cover your legs and let the crotch area breathe. Full rain gear can weigh less than 10 ounces if you use the lightest, most simple varieties. A good clothing rule is no multiples. One of pants, shorts, and rain gear is enough. One very light short sleeve shirt and one long sleeve shirt should be enough. Avoid cotton. It's heavy and doesn't dry quickly, so it could be dangerous. Lightweight silk shirts weigh only about 2.5 ounces for short sleeve and 3 ounces for long sleeve. Jeans weigh about 1.5 pounds and don't dry well. Synthetics weigh as little as 8 ounces. Insulating ultralight down jackets weigh less than 6 ounces. That's t-shirt weight. Running shorts at around 3 ounces are much lighter than heavy cargo shorts. Leather belts are heavy. A lightweight nylon accessory strap is much lighter. Silk underwear can cut the weight in half. Bikini style underwear is light too. A lightweight skull cap can weigh as little as an ounce. And it's great for sleeping. A full brimmed silicone coated nylon hat can weigh as little as 1.2 ounces. A baseball type hat of silicone coated nylon can weigh less than an ounce. A painter's cap will give you cheap light sun protection for less than an ounce. If a hat is too hot, use an ultralight visor. Light polypropylene gloves that weigh less than an ounce will keep your hands warm. You can use your extra socks as gloves or for added warmth over light gloves. We talked about plastic newspaper or grocery bags keeping your feet warm at night. They can keep your hands dry too. Comfortable socks are vital in preventing blisters. Shorter socks can trim weight. Running shoes instead of boots save weight. You lift your shoes with every step. Trim shoelaces that are too long. Burn the ends to prevent unraveling. Cut your cooking gear weight in half by using the kettle only. Leave the rest home. With titanium, your kettle can weigh less than 4 ounces. Stainless steel is heavy. Non-stick coatings make a kettle heavier. Use a plastic cup with measuring marks. They're four times lighter than a Sierra cup. Use a Lexan spoon only. For fun, shorten and drill holes in the handle. For cutting, use your pocket knife. A Dairy Queen spoon is light and can reach into foil pouches and Ziploc bags. Blacken the bottom of your kettle to cook faster and conserve fuel. Heat resistant paint can do this too. Keep the lid for your kettle. You'll save its weight by using less fuel. Use a windscreen to conserve and carry less fuel. Use things you already carry or something light like aluminum foil. Use a digital scale to measure how much fuel is left in your partially used canister. Don't carry a scouring pad. Use goat's beard or pine cones or leaves or sand. A towel helps you handle a hot kettle. Use a small piece for kitchen and one for your body. The light thin towels in grocery stores are lighter than a rayon camper's towel. Titanium stoves can be as light as 1.9 ounces. Alcohol stoves can be less than 1 ounce. Thin foil insulation can be used to handle kettles or hold heat in your kettle. That's our first 100 ultralight backpacking tips. See part 2 for 101 more ideas. Hike light and have more fun. See over 30 more videos and a free ultralight backpacking book at hikelight.com.